Macho Man right there. Yes, indeed. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we are very excited for the for this evening. We've got uh, two extraordinary guests for you tonight. That's right. Uh, coming up first in just a moment here, we have artist, we have actor, we have mm. hip hop luminary. Mm. Common will be out here in this little uh, oh. very attractive oh, man. Woo. Little something for the ladies. Little something for the ladies out there. And after that, one of my favorite comedians uh, for the last 40 years, Stephen Wright, will be out here in just a little while. Extraordinary. It's extraordinary. But, uh, but first, folks, you know, if you watch the show, and I hope you do, I spend most of my time standing right over there surveying the day's news forest for the most topical Buxus Semper Viren story tree, shaping a cylinder, then adding metal cap tenons and natural cork pads to present to you the Buffett Crampon Legende Boxwood clarinet that is my monologue, but sometimes... <laughs> Sometimes, while fleeing the Cobra fighting ring the Uzbek Mafia and I are running, I fall asleep in a ditch, cuddling a lead pipe for protection, which I bore holes into using a dead possum's shin bone, then fashion a mouthpiece out of a discarded popsicle stick and bubblegum wrapper to bleat a shrieking jingle through the bozo tube of news that is my segment. Meanwhile... It's like... It's like a snorkel. The sea of filth. Meanwhile, <laughs> peeps are introducing new flavors for Easter 2024, such as Rice Krispies and Sour Strawberry, though I prefer the original flavor, Neon Shoe Foam Left in Hot Car. <laughs> Meanwhile, sad news for those who enjoy reading while they drive, because the feds are banning humorous electronic messages on highways, with officials claiming that signs with references to pop culture or those intended to be funny can be distracting to drivers. Or as one sign put it, it's me, sign, I'm the problem, it's me. <laughs> also, merge right. So, this is true, by 2026, the regulations dictate that signs should be simple, direct, and brief. Which is why, for those entering New York City, the signs will simply read, F you, New Jersey. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Love the Garden State. Meanwhile, sticky foam excreted from a bug's anus may inspire new skincare products. <laughs> Coincidentally, sticky foam excreted from a bug's anus, also the recipe for peeps. Mmm. 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 Gotta hold on. Gotta hold on with that one. Apparently, when attacked, the European alder spittle bug farts out a foamy substance that forms a protective jacket and could be beneficial for the skin because of its antimicrobial effects protection against desiccation and light absorption. Amazing. And explains Maybelline's new slogan, maybe she's born with it, maybe a bug farted on her face. <laughs> it's pretty, awfully pretty. Awfully pretty for somebody with a bug fart on her face. <laughs> Meanwhile, there was chaos on an Air Asia flight in Thailand after a live snake was discovered by passengers in an overhead bin. Even worse, it was one of those planes where all the doors stay on. <laughs> Still, snakes on a plane is pretty scary. In the words of Samuel L. Jackson... What's in your wallet? <laughs> gotcha! Gotcha! Switcheroo! Now, thankfully, this type of thing is an extremely rare one-off. And I'm being told this was the second reported incident <laughs> of a snake found on board in an Air Asia plane. And according to one executive, quote, Air Asia crew were well-trained to handle an occurrence of this nature. <laughs> really? They were? Must be stressful to be a new flight attendant for Air Asia. Hey, excuse me, I'm just wondering, how come we're being so well-trained to find live snakes in the overhead bins? <laughs> Save your questions for the python lunging out of your drink cart, Brenda. Brenda, by the way. That's Brenda. That woman's name is Brenda. You can't see, but his little name tag there says... Brenda. It says Brenda. Bye, Brenda. Meanwhile, news from England where mystery meat dumped in the town of Stockport is baffling residents. Coincidentally, mystery meat dumped in the town of Stockport also peeps newest flavor. <laughs> Meanwhile... Meanwhile, sad news for the Midwest convenience store chain, Come and Go. 
The company was recently acquired, and the new owners will drop the name Come and Go sometime next year. Oh, so that's it, Come and Go? You've, you've had your fun, and now you're just gonna leave? I've never felt so used. Shockingly, no one at the company would go on record for this story, but according to someone familiar with the decision, there was some concern about the inadvertent double entendre of the come and go name, which is why they're gonna go with single entendre, rub one out and bounce. But frankly, I don't think they should have to change. Come and go if you want to keep your name but make it feel less dirty. I have a suggestion. How about come and then maybe stay the night? <laughs> and the next morning, you get breakfast and you find the conversation comes easily, not like with all the others. And you realize how much you have in common. You both put peanut butter on your pancakes and you, you both think George was the best beetle. And before you know it, it's Christmas. 2062, and you're surrounded by children and grandchildren, thinking, man, I'm so lucky to have all this love in my life. I'm glad all those years ago I didn't just come and go. <laughs> although, although, admittedly, admittedly, that is a lot to fit on a sign. We'll be right back with Common.